Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. It's going to be a general reading for the 28th of April. It is general, so it may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest, and characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. So, I'm not wearing the same shirt three days in a row. It's actually only two days in a row. I'm just filming two videos in one day. <laughs> and the reason for that is because I got two new decks in the mail. We're going to be using... <laughs> okay the quantum oracle it's like i have so many decks but i feel like i don't know i always need more <laughs> i always need new messages and i got this uh tarot deck what is it tarot de fugo i start saw this on um star moon angels channel and some of the cards are very interesting there's a lot of boobs <laughs> but they're regular tarot cards so anyways all right, let's see. Uh, let's, let's see this, yeah, it'll be for Wednesday the 28th. All right. What's going on with the collective for Wednesday the 28th of April? Oh, you know what? I wanted to put on some incense. So you can watch me do that. How's everyone's day? Even though you can't talk to me. What is happening? Okay. Sorry. My house smells like french fries. <laughs> also, I almost set my tapestry on fire. My stove broke yesterday. I'm like, what is happening with this full moon? It's just like, literally, it like flashed behind it i turned it on bake flash turned off started beeping so i had to buy a new stove today so that's fun anyway all right what's going on with the collective for 27 all right first card out this is the page of wands so interesting though it's like she's like naked with a, a wand so typically for me this is a communication card but she looks very, she has a peg leg too. Like she's like, yeah, it almost looks like she's about to go to a cave and do something. It looks like she's a cave woman, but she almost, oh, that's, she has a light. So the, so I'm not going to use these entirely traditional because the symbolism on these is just so much different. And it might take me a little bit, a little bit to interpret them because I just opened them. Um, Okay. But it's like she's going into a tunnel full of a bunch of eyeballs. She doesn't know where she's going. So, this could represent someone that's kind of... Like, just walking into the dark and has no idea where they're going. Not, like, physically into the dark, but mentally. And the Ace of Swords... This is really truth and clarity. What's the interesting thing here is they are holding on to this sword. Like almost purposely, they're purposely letting themselves bleed. He's a wicked slippery. I have been using the same tarot deck for like ever now. Nine of Wands. So typically this is about burdens. It's a double-headed person climbing up a ladder into a tree. There appears to be a glass of water up top, which is interesting because I just made moon water. Um, but there's fire everywhere, too. There's fire in, like, all these cards. It really feels like someone's purposefully taking a risk that they know could burden them. It's like... This person walking into the unknown. All these eyes and they have no idea what's under this tunnel, right? These, this person or people or whatever is holding onto the sword knowing, knowing full well if you grab a sword by the blade, you're going to get cut. And then the nine of wands going up this tree with flames all around 
to possibly grab grab this glass of water. This looks like kind of like a clown outfit. It's a two-headed person, but like. And anytime I get a new deck, I feel like it's because there's some sort of particular message in that deck at that time period. Um, Six of Cups, which is usually soulmate reconciliation. Um, but to me, this almost looks like the Seven of Cups. Like how, with the Seven of Cups, it looks like there's a bunch of options. And also, with this, it's like a progression. The egg, it's watered, right? It starts to pop out, and then it's finally out. Oh, it matches my nails. Um... It's a very interesting deck. <laughs> um, yeah, but it feels... The main thing here is I feel like someone's doing some sort of risk that they know full well could end poorly for them. But I don't... I don't feel like it does. Alright. This person may have to go through a lot of Jump through a lot of hoops to do whatever this is, right? I mean, with all these cards, it looks like there's a lot. It's like you maybe have to go through a mountain, then climb up a tree. Hypothetically, obviously. But, um... And lately, I've been talking about somebody doing something very strategically. Maybe it will help me figure out what's going on here. Interesting. Stuck energy. Now, for instance, look at the symbolism on this card. There's going to be a lot of work to get this car unstuck. It's like, I don't know. Family. Travel. This situation could require moving. It could require moving a family. It could require breaking up a family. I don't know. Um, moving away from family. You know what's interesting with this card is... One of these children looks like they're... They have passed away because they're floating in a cloud. So someone may, side note here, someone may have lost a baby. I'm sorry, whoever that is for. Um, but that's pretty clear there. Increase. It definitely feels like in order to get something someone wants... There's a lot of hoops to jump through here. It's like, I'll just want to say under the river and through the woods. It's like a lot of doors open, a lot of places. I don't know. This is the deck I created. It's available on Etsy. Link below. friends I mean it also had the family so it's like this may involve a lot of people it may affect a lot of people hold on huh 
home. This literally, whatever this is, is going to affect everything. Friends, family, home, moving. I don't know. This feels like... What the heck? My nose is freaking out, too. Like, it's... <sighs> Storm warning. Like, this is a lot. Whatever this is, is a lot. This is random. Hook up. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, what is happening here? All right, what is this? Oh, God. What does this hookup card have to do with anything? Breakup. Okay. Um... I feel like I keep hearing the song, I would do anything for love. I think I recently posted a video like that, too. So what actually is going on here, though? Like, what is all this effort for? Like, what's going on? Ex-lover. Someone may be doing anything for an ex-lover. What for what? What do they want? Proposal. What are all these hoops this person's jumping through? And why? Single. Hoops to become single. Jumping through all sorts of hoops to break up. I mean, there's something ending here, it feels like, because we have the single card and the breakup card. Anything else here? Hold on. Anything else here? Engagement ring. There's two cards now. There's engagement ring and proposal. What's up with this engagement ring or proposal? This could be an elaborate proposal that I'm talking about too. It could be as not simple as that, but yeah. What's up with this ex-lover thing? Paradise, what? Traveling, like we have the travel card here. Tell me more, what am I missing? What is it that I'm missing here? The clock. Time crunch. This needs to be done quick. Heart with the kiki. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. It feels like someone needs to jump through a lot of hoops in a short period of time. Something, but some for, for an ex-lover. What are they trying to do with this ex-lover? What's it they're trying to do with the ex-lover, with the ex-lover? Romantic feelings? They want to prove they have feelings towards an ex-lover? It's like, it feels like someone going above and beyond to... To prove to some ex-lover how they feel. Now, what happened with this ex-lover in the past? Snake? Some sort of deception? What kind of deception? Hold on. What kind of deception happened with this ex-lover? 
finances. I don't know. That doesn't feel right. Um, what was the what? What happened with this ex lover? What is it that happened with this ex lover? Hold on. One at a time. Deserving. They might have treated this person right before. Um, what happened with this ex-lover? What happened with this ex-lover? Really, like, all I'm getting right now is someone's doing literally anything they can for this ex-lover. But what happened with them originally? Stalemate. They took too long. There was a pause. They made them wait. Garden. Public. Date. They didn't ask them out. What's up with this ex-lover? What happened with these people in the past? The world. Hold on. Ah, why does it keep falling? I can't figure this out. What happened with his ex-lover? Magnifying glass. Yeah, get more info. That's what I'm trying to do. What happened with his ex-lover? Death. It ended. Why? Why did it end? Two of Pentacles. Choice. I like this skull. Why did this situation end with this ex lover? Wheel of Fortune. It ended, but why? This is going to be a long reading. <laughs> Five of Swords. It's, you know, what's interesting is this is the same cave. Maybe it didn't this I don't think this ever quite began. Because ex-lover doesn't mean you had a relationship. It was a lover. We did have hookup too, right? It's like before they even got to walk in this cave. Or they never walked in the cave. So, what is this person... What is this person trying to prove this time around? What is this person trying to... What is this person trying to... My friend's calling me. It's distracting me. Okay. What is this person trying to prove by doing all this? Intuition. To me, this is always whatever my first instinct is. Which would be the fact that this person literally will do anything to show this person that they want to be with them. Alright. Any final things? wedding this person a proposal engagement ring and wedding this person like literally they may propose or they may be like i want to marry you or they and just may lead to that anyways anything else here that i'm missing or need to know five of cup this is normally sadness but again this kind of looks like the seven of cups they literally i feel like this person's gonna literally do anything they can to, I don't know, get you back. Have pentacles. Left in the cold. You were left in the cold. They might have made you very upset. These are like tears. These look like they are tears. Yeah. It's an interesting depiction of five pentacles. But that's, yeah. This person left you in the cold and there was a stalemate. 
you know, it may have just been a situation where they made you wait too long. And now they're like, oh my god, time crunch, right? Because we have the clock. I need to prove to this person how I feel or whatever. All right, guys, I think that's going to be all. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe to so be notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. And I'll see you guys next time.